Hey, what's up everybody? This is Josh Rick 501 and today I want to go over the new Atlas gameplay trailer that we got today. Now, the game has been pushed back to Friday the 21st, which completely blows. Everyone was so hyped. There was like 200,000 people literally in waiting room streams for the game waiting for it to come out. Um, tons of top streamers waiting for it to come out, but it was delayed. Our company had like over probably like close to 70 80 people on i think grouped up ready to go um but it was delayed so we do have to wait a little bit to play the game hopefully it won't be delayed again but we did get this in my opinion an incredibly good trailer with some more gameplay stuff it wasn't like an actual character showing like ui and stuff like that but we did get to see a ton of new stuff ton of new gameplay tons of stuff like that so i'm gonna go over it now i've watched it a few times and every time i watch it back i've been finding some type of new thing inside of it so i might find some new stuff while watching the video we're just kind of gonna go through it if you guys find anything else let me know in the comments if you see anything else i don't see so it's the first scene it's basically the first scene we've been seeing with a little bit of change so a lot of this is actually screenshots like the video of the screenshots that they've been releasing now it does show a really kind of intricate type buildings behind here. I don't know what these are, if these are like only NPC like town buildings or if this is stuff players can make. Um, now right here, there are chickens, pretty sure we've seen chickens before. There's also a goat right here. I don't know if it's a goat or a sheep, it looks to be a sheep because it's super like furry, but that is something new that I don't think we've seen. You can't get a good glimpse of it that's not super blurry because it's moving away from it. Um, then it's pretty much the same same scene we've seen before. Um, there's like a big wagon being pulled. Um, there's this guy with a gun on his back, which we've seen before, which is also pretty cool. Nothing really else new there. Now this is a screenshot we've gotten, and this is where they start kind of going through the screenshot we've shown. So there is ostriches right here. We haven't seen this before. This is a snake following this lady. So this is a tame snake. So there are tame snakes. Now it's not near as big as a titan boa. So I'm assuming these snakes will have some other function. Like you'll be able to pick them up or put them on your shoulder maybe. Probably not put them on your shoulder. I mean it would actually be cool if they wrapped around you. But there are a much smaller snakes. So they're not like a massive titan boa like for Mark. We do have a boar right here. That is someone's riding on it. It looks pretty good. Um, has their intricacies intricacies on the saddle we don't know if that's like extra storage or just cosmetic stuff but this is all the stuff shown in the screenshot um we see the giraffe in the back also with the saddle on it and that's pretty much it for that then we go here which is another screenshot and we see these dudes fighting nothing really uh, nothing new there and um, we do get to see some like different clothing types like this lady has a skirt on this dude has some red um like not piratey type stuff like colonial type stuff we do see these things in the shop these look to be some type of i don't know maybe poisonous gas balls that you throw and they blow up into poison maybe something kind of like their grenades in arc but they're just you know globes which fits in the time or the era of this game a little bit more we do see the pirate with the hat on or not the pirate, the parrot with the hat on. Now we get here, this shows some, there's a bunch of new stuff in this. So there's a crow right here, I don't think we've seen that. This seems to be a fireplace, like cooking station, which we haven't seen before, it looks pretty nice. Um, we do see the little monkeys that were in Ark as well. I don't know if they've been changed at all, because you don't get a super good look, but they're meso something. I don't know the exact name, but they're from Ark. Um, we have a big bull here. This person riding this horse is using a two-handed mace, which we've seen before, and it shows it later in the in this gameplay trailer, with a shield. So, I'm pretty much just showing you're able to use a two-hander and a shield. Maybe they're specced specifically for that. Um, maybe they went into a discipline that lets you have two-handers with shield, but that seems pretty cool because that does seem to be a two-handed weapon. There are tons of different cool-looking buildings in the background, stuff like that. Nothing you can really see that's like super new or important. Um, then there is a cow, which we already knew there was cows in the game, behind the big bull, which is pretty cool. 
Um, in the center, I can't really tell what's in the center because you don't get really that good of a look at it. So I can't really tell. Maybe zooming in with some filtering or something might be able to see it. We do see these people shooting flares off. Um, I'm not certain if they're going to have like Christmas-y type stuff because it's going to be so close to Christmas in the holidays. I don't know if they're going to have holiday-ish stuff or if this is just people painting their buildings and their clothes to fit the holidays. We do see basically the uh, big gorilla type things, um, whatever these are called in ARC. I forget the names of these as well, but you could ride on their backs in ARC. Um, they seem to be pretty close to the same, like pretty much the same. I don't know if those are still an asset they're going to change or if it's going to still be in the game like that. Now we do see um, this seems to be all player made stuff. And this building seems like much more detailed and much better build of a building than you were able to do in Ark. So it does look like with all that we're seeing that the building stuff has been massively upgraded. Now we don't know exactly how it's going to feel, if placement's going to be better, if snapping's going to be better, whatever. Um, also we do see that all of these boxes right here have been painted, so most likely all of those boxes and barrels that are on the ships were actually player built and placed on the ships and probably are all storage stuff. We do see the head of a wolf right here. I don't know if you can actually see this at all besides just the head right there. I can't tell if that's a um, wolf head or a bear. It looks maybe more like a bear than a wolf. But after that we do see penguins and we do see this lady right here carrying a penguin with like her arms around. Okay there is a wolf back there. So I think that thing at the right was a bear head because the wolf does look a little bit different. It seems to be a black wolf over there. It looks pretty cool. Um, but this lady is carrying a penguin. So it seems you will be able to carry um, smaller animals, probably like monkeys, maybe stuff that's not able to go on your shoulder, but you're still able to carry. Like you weren't able, like, um, I don't know, maybe you'd be able to carry that snake, maybe some other stuff. But I assume if you have babies in this, you might be able to carry babies as well. So that would work for taming dinos and the children you can birth. So you could carry your child around, which is actually pretty cool. Um, this lady has little rabbits following her so another new animal just little rabbits um and this this is just a screenshot we don't see much different this is basically the screenshot we see the animals we see the giraffe the rhino the elephant and the tiger and that's pretty much all that happens in the scene they're just walking around now right here we see the monkeys again you could put hats on them like an arc i don't know what this field around these people are so there are people playing music which we did get in the article which is one of my recent videos that they said you can play music with each other and dance and get buffs from that. And there is a campfire here, so there are still the mo more basic campfires other than that cooking station. And I have no idea what this... It looks like a buff field or an aura field around them. So we have no idea what that is. But we see people doing a bunch of different dances and playing music and stuff. Then we are here. There's nothing really new here. This is another... Um, screenshot showing there's not really anything new here I can see um, all the stuff we've seen before then we have the people rowing to the boat I'm pretty certain that these are usually mostly players because they did show like players dropping out of the boat and rowing away and how they're not like uniform makes me think they're not UI that those were actually players on there rowing just more um, video of boats getting on the wheel the waves do get pretty big when they're going up, up against us. The ocean and the water just looks really amazing in my opinion in this game for all the um, gameplay and speech we've seen. That is actually quite loud. That the that the water is pretty nice looking, especially how the boats go through and everything. It looks really, really nice. Um, we've basically seen this whole boat before. Now this does show something new right here. Ramming into the boat and a big explosion happening. So it probably did a ton of damage to that boat. And then we have the horse jumping off, which we did hear about before in the um, PC Gamer UK article, that you can jump animals from boat to boat. And this is just actually showing that, that they can jump a horse from a boat to another boat. Um, this dude is grappling, which we saw a picture of this. Now this does look another like another picture, or another glimpse of the drops are in the ocean. It looked to be barrels with rings around them that are probably the drops in this game and another thing those drops don't have beams so it seems these drops are going to be completely random in the ocean maybe they're going to show something on the map if you're in a certain distance or something but from everything i've seen it seems like 
these drops out in the ocean don't really have like a beam coming up to show where they are so if you just come across them and most likely they're gonna have npcs and stuff to fight or players if there's other players happening around now we do see some fighting going on here a bunch of fighting and we see somebody get killed by a sh by a blunder bust or a shotgun can't really tell what it is because there is grape shot that i assume that ammo is we see other people fighting shooting um, we see some more just basic gameplay. I don't think this shows that the game, like the melee, is super slow or anything. I don't think they're going to show you unless they're doing an actual gameplay where it's of the person with the UI, like them actually playing, um, not in like a more cinematic type trailer type thing. Um, they would probably show actual gameplay, but I'm assuming it's kind of slowed down and not like just strafing back and forth doing crazy stuff that would make it hard to see in a gameplay trailer like this. Now they are in a smaller boat right here. Seems to have a bunch of stacked up crates and stuff like that, which also shows that these are players building this stuff around. Um, we have someone fishing, we have someone going up. It looks like this person has a big ball of meat for bait, almost. Um, and we do see a fish. What fish was that? It looks to be, that might be a piranha. I can't really tell what that is, but it's a pretty big fish. Um, so we just see a smaller boat with some, some decent lighting on it. Looks to be a lantern hanging off the side, which looks pretty cool. Then this is another screenshot that they show the gameplay around it. They show horses charging, and these horses all have like people on them using guns while moving pretty quick. Um, which it seems this game is going to have a lot more um, gameplay based on using mounts or a lot more like combat able to be done on mounts. Where Ark, it wasn't used a ton besides actually using the mount. Seeming this game, especially with everything we know, seeming to be less based on the teams themselves and more based on their utility, that there would be a lot more mounted combat and their shooting going through. Screenshot here, the cannon shooting or grape shot. Now, this is crazy. So I'm not certain if these are just like specific tornadoes or if this is hurricanes that they talked about which hurricanes are they can set a, like they can set them off in certain areas or they'll go off in certain areas if the place is too crammed or i assume it's just random that they can also set off in the world so i'm not certain if these are if this is like a hurricane with these tornadoes or just a bunch of tornadoes and then a storm um they are fighting a ship to the damned and it looks really cool here especially with these big tornadoes going around I would assume that these tornadoes are going to do a lot of damage to you. And they're being chased by a ship to the damned. Now I can't exactly tell, but it seems like there are different sized ship to the damned ships. So bigger ones would be more powerful. I would assume that that would be the case as well to make, you know, higher difficulty ones. And maybe this one you could fight this size. Maybe this one's like a galleon size and you can't fight that. So you just have to try to get away from it, stuff like that. Um, we do see another cool looking fort here. Now this isn't really a fort you would ever make normally because it's not like super defendable. It's not the best defense strategy, but it looks really cool and does show off a lot of the customi customization you'll be able to do in this new building system. And they're being attacked. Also building this close to water. Most likely you would never do that with a main base, maybe like some outposts, but never with a main base would you build this close to water, especially when there's such a big emphasis on ships and massive galleons with tons of guns. Um, there's jumps playing, there's tons of cannons and artillery, they're shooting back and forth. And it does show these are artillery that can shoot like straight up in the air, so it seems they, these artillery pieces will have a lot higher range. It'll probably be harder to hit, but have a lot longer range than cannons. You see big volleys going in. You see the destruction, which looks pretty nice. And it is nice, as I've talked about before, that they have like the splinters and the wood pieces coming off. Then we see the drop, the boat dropping down, which does confirm that the boats are able to be picked up, you know, dropped down from the boat or from your main ships and paddled in, um, onto land. Which most likely you want to be doing that when you get close to land. You won't want to be like running your ship into land. You'd use one of these boats and keep your ship out of the water, which could also make it harder to for other people to steal. And they're just going up. Um, they blow up the doors like normally in Ark. People rush out, they kill them. Then we see here, this is another screenshot. We've also had gameplay of this, but not the sound really. Um, it's pretty much the same. 
we do see zooming on the on the map these people there's this purple crisp or not purple a blue crisp over here no idea what that is these people running with shovels um to go dig up their treasure um it does seem these are different like probably gather with plants there are probably some specific one to this specific region or area don't know what these are exactly those seem to be some type of flower we've already seen them digging up treasure before in the week trailer we have a little bit more showing um them fighting army of the damned in this cave which i assume is some type of like dungeon type thing then we have actual sound of like the hydra and fighting and everything the cyclops the cyclops seem to do a strong attack right there so probably something you have to dodge nothing really new here um we do get to see this more close up now this is the gorgon and she was pretty much completely covered because of the blast of this blunderbuss before but we do get to see the sword with the enchant on it closer up and we do get to see the gorgon and she looks exactly like medusa a lot of people are just calling her medusa and she does seem to have exactly what you think to, for medusa to have which is a close or like not a close-up but like a wide stun in front of her we also see um when this guy hits her with his mace um it has the green attack which we saw someone um like hit someone with a fist with that green attack i'd assume that that is a like stun special attack because when we saw someone do it with their fist it stunned the other person it does seem to slightly stun her maybe and then she does her big stun roar that seems to stun everybody so another probably mini boss or maybe just another creature with other um basically effects or attacks or abilities so i don't know if you guys seen this but look at this Oh, they cut it out. So we saw that in another trailer, and this person right here is one of the devs. We don't know which dev it is. Completely just misses and throws the spear like right here when the whale's like all the way over here already. It's pretty funny because one of the um, other devs made a gif about it in this part. It's pretty funny. Now we do see these people are fighting the army of the damned, and we see this person I think with a sword and a shield. This person with a shovel, which I didn't know what that was before. Can't really tell what everyone else has, but this person is using a two-handed mace. The same mace that we just saw with the lady that had the shield and the mace. So we don't know. Um, also, that two-hander mace with the shield could be just a shield on her back, then she'd use the mace. Or it could be this two-handed mace with a shield that you're like, expecting to. And he does a big swiping attack, which shows that it's a big attack that does damage in a cone which also shows other abilities able to be done and it seems the army of the damned i can't tell if these dudes are like getting basically turned into like dust or if it's just an animation and their body falls to the ground now we do see another drop in the ocean and we see here something new which seems to be a big ghost ship guarding this drop so maybe there'll be random, it could either be a random event or maybe there's certain NPCs or stuff guarding the drops when you try to go get them that you have to face and kill. In this next image, we see a ton of new stuff. So we see Pterodons from Ark. We see what looks to be built off of a Dota Rex, I think, or a Therry. I think this is actually more built off of a Therry. Um, but we don't know if it's exactly a Therry because... It looks like the pterodons have a bunch of fur on, them, fur on them. This, which looks to be like some different version built off a of Therry with a bunch of fur. A different version of a trike with a bunch of fur on it. And it looks to be bigger horns maybe on it. But what a lot of people were talking about, at least in my company, is that we think there's going to be a region or an island or a cluster of islands that most likely will only be the only place you can get like the dinosaur and ancient creatures which would make more sense and maybe they're much higher level stuff so they're like remnants of the old golden era or something maybe because it does look like these are a bunch of runes that are probably from the golden age which there are golden age runes in the game already confirmed so maybe they did like experiments and were able to create these dinosaurs and bring them back something like that but they do look pretty cool with how upgraded they are they all have a bunch of fur and stuff um then here we see what seems to be like a siren of the sea which pulls people under and like tries to drown them basically that is basically a mythological creature that there are like it's basically a mermaid siren that 
like tries to lull you into the sea and then drown you. And then she gets punched directly in the face for trying it. And then we see another thing of um, another time lapse of ship creation. And this shows a lot more customization. So it's a full pink ship with a ton of cannons placed at the front on the bow. Not in the cannon doors. There are ones in those because I think they do open after this. But just being able to show a ton of cannons. It looks like there's like a cannon tower back here. And a custom built building on top that they're also placing a ton of cannons in. So if you can get the biggest boat, which I think is a galleon right now. And have like a massive crew on it of players and NPCs. You'll be able to have a ridiculous amount of arms and cannons and stuff like that on board. Now the thing is, you also have to weigh that with what if a few ships go directly for that one, destroy it, then you lost all those cannons and stuff possibly. We don't know exactly how the resources or the building get destroyed. But it does show you can also paint all the cannons and everything. It's fully painted pink. So it shows a lot more customization. The flags do come up with the heart and that's probably a um, uploaded image onto it. We do see a bunch of people gliding down, um, which we already have seen these gliders, someone grabbing, hooking, nothing new there. These people underwater, it seems they're searching this wreck for loot um, and harvesting different things. Um, it looks to be that like all the crates and barrels stay, so you have to destroy those to get the loot inside of them. There seems to be some new different animals. This looks to be the dolphin from Ark, but this looks to be like a needle nose um, shark or something like that that looks pretty cool then we get to see the duel that happened um that shows you can shoot really quickly and the weapons do shoot at different times um, most likely you control that most likely you can shoot both at the same time or them um separately then we see here i'm pretty sure this is if this isn't the actual com like just end of end all bosses this game is going to be ridiculous for bosses because this thing is just some big massive glowing kraken with massive tentacles. It looks really cool. It looks insane for how big it is. Like for comparison this galleon is massive. Like there can be a dozen people on one spot in this galleon and it doesn't even look like the boat is even close to being filled with people and this massive thing like tentacles like two three galleons itself we did see this thing before like a chunk of like a piece of it at the daytime behind like some tornadoes this shows a nighttime it shows it's glowing it's really cool and also slams on ships so you're gonna need a lot to kill that thing most likely you're probably gonna have to kill all the tentacles then kill it's like main body most likely then this sh just shows Every ship that's every ship that's currently in the game, I'm pretty sure, and rafts, they've said five variations of the ship, rafts make most likely don't count. Now people are saying that the raft is pretty much as fast as the ships. I don't know exactly how this is. It does seem to be the same speed as these ships. Um, maybe it's just someone that has raft speed or ship speed on this one specifically, not and the boats don't. Who knows, that's something they could probably tune pretty easily, this early access. Hopefully they do tune that, hopefully rafts aren't as fast as these massive boats. Then we just see another big fight. Um, just the animation and the destruction looks really good in my opinion, especially for something that's going to be early access for two years. Nothing really new I can see here. Now this is something new. This is a cannon on the side, set up on these little, they're little like swivel guns. Um, and I'm not 100% certain. So, as you see, this dude is using, like, these are two different ammos. I'm not certain if normal cannons can use all these ammos as well. But this is using Liquid Flame, which is an ammo type. And this one seems to be using a Grape Shot. But it seems to also have either, like, an Explosive or a Flame attack on the Grape Shot. So maybe there's some way to mix ammo or add different elemental attacks to your different ammo. And it looks really cool. Yeah, see that dude had like a flame grape shot shotgun shot type mix. Which seems really cool. If you're able to mix ammo with elements and stuff like that, that'd be really cool. And just catching the side of the ship on fire with his liquid flame, which is basically a flamethrower, is really cool. We saw this, actually this exact screenshot almost. Um, 
as a screenshot, and we do get to see him carrying him. The, even the water in the bucket looks really good, in my opinion. The fire looked a little, a little weird. But we do get to see a table here with some chairs, nothing really that big, just some customization items. And then we see the boat getting attacked. And we see here this person is going over to repair these leaks in their boat, which I did, like, theorize or something, I guess, that you would be able to shoot, like, holes in the boats and stuff, which would make complete sense and was probably expected. And he pulls out a repair hammer, so it does seem there will be a repair hammer that you probably go hit stuff with to repair, um, like, your broken stuff or damaged items, stuff like that. You probably need resources to be able to do it. And we're not sure if the boat would carry resources that you would do with or you would have to have them on your person. Um, I assume you would want it to be on the boat. Um, anyone on the boat can use those resources to repair the boat um, instead of having to actually carry them on you, which would be much harder with a game player. Another massive boat with just tons of cannons. I'm wondering if you're able to customize these holes that the cannons come out of. Um, if you're able to put more and more on your boat. This is a massive boat. I'm not exactly certain if this is also just another galleon or if this is like another size boat or maybe an upgraded galleon. Because it almost does look bigger. And we see a big sinking. The animation on seeing it, that's how it's going to work, looks really good. Um, we see two dragons coming in here, completely different colors, just shooting out their flames. The big fight going on again. And we see all these boats fighting, this dragon coming in. And this part is pretty crazy because this basically, in my head, confirms that this is a globe. Which they've said, like, in the Steam description that it's a globe. But that could mean that it, they're just, like, saying it, like, that it's the world and it's not an actual globe. But this seems to show that it is an actual globe because they zoom out, then they go to the globe that's been behind the atlas, um basically symbol the whole time so I'm assuming that they're showing us right here that the game is an actual globe which is pretty big of a deal now after they just show some mod, some mod stuff now as you can see here dev kit mod support for ultimate MMO skill warfare this is not stuff that's gonna be in the base game this is stuff that I don't know if they had modders come and build this stuff or if they had like a small team build these few things to show you what you could do it actually looks really good so this is like a world war ii plane i'm pretty sure this is a spitfire um and it looks really like well built the rudder works like how they're going through it looks really smooth then next they have an old world war one tank which looks really nice as well. It, it looks like it's built pretty well, which I think is why it might be the devs, maybe. Maybe they had a big mod team working to create this stuff. And then they have this massive airship, which I'm pretty sure this thing is just a different version of a mod that was an arc. I don't know if the other two were ever an arc. I don't remember seeing any mods like that in arc, but this looks really cool. And it looks to be just an upgraded version of one that was an arc, but still looks really cool. Shows some stuff you can do with the mods. So that's pretty much the end of the trailer. Went over a ton of stuff. Um, so subscribe if you want to see more Alice content. Hopefully they won't be delaying it after Friday. Friday will be a good release time. And everyone's super hyped to get into play. So subscribe if you want to see more Alice content. We're going to be doing tons of videos on it. Um, comment down below what you think of all this new information. The delay sucks. I already know that you don't really need to comment about that. Like it if you like it. And thanks for watching.